Behold the devil, gentlemen. Mr. Napoleon Solo. Couscous of lamb, well, that's marvelous. After all, you are our guest until they chop off your head. And you feel uh, an attraction. Uh, some magnetism. Don't worry, Napoleon. Just think about all those Nordic women waiting to uh, massage your poor, tired body. You'll return as good as new. I'm as good as new now. Even the first time I saw you. So businesslike and everything. Maybe I just want to be alone with you. A while. Well, I have Sunday afternoon open. Well, Miss Burgoyne, I'm in you're in love with her, aren't you? Oh, right. <laughs> Well, I can certainly see she meets all the requirements. <laughs> Do you read Russian? How exciting! You know, I can't even put a sentence together properly in English. Really? Well, with everything else so nicely put together, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> How do you keep so fit, Mr. Sala? I play games. Oh. Do you really? Oh, gosh, look what those critters done to your nice new suit. Well, that's okay. It's almost a month old. Are you rich? No. Ilya and I work uh, <clears throat> very hard for a living. They're mostly in the dark. Oh, what a pity. I'm mad about you. Oh, you poor, foolish child. Oh, George! Well, you don't look like the kind of a girl that would stand by and watch me get my neck broke. You're right. I shall turn my back. That's what I like about you, Miss Hayward. A woman of system, business-like, orderly, disciplined. A keen, sharp mind in a soft, voluptuous body. Why, Mr. Soldo, I thought bankers only dealt with one kind of figure. How little you know, my dear. Ah. Uh, oh, Mr. Soldo. Call me nappy. Impetuous boy. Now, but I can't contain myself any longer to see how I have a bright blue flame that's burning for you. How do I love thee? Let me count the way. No computation, no. <laughs> he used the same miserable line on me. Triangulation, Miss Townsend, not alienation of affections. Will you kiss me? Shut up. A line, a wrinkle, a crow's foot. Pretty soon he'll trade you in for next year's model. He won't. You'd better take the pill, madame. Or well, Napoleon will be forced to hold your nose and make you take it. He wouldn't dare. Is that right? I am Aisha. Hello. I am Gerald. Must be one o'clock. You know, you know, you better get going. I'll tell you, I'd hope. You, you haven't met my landlady. <laughs> if she knew that you were here. Hmm? Well, 
Well, sometimes when I, I'm nervous, I, I uh, talk a little bit to myself. Ilya, come in, will you? Yes, Napoleon. How is your burgeoning romance? Ah, uh, it threatens to burgeon too far. Do you know where the car is? Hmm? Hmm? In what? Sicily, when a man stays overnight with a girl, and the girl she's not married, <laughs> there is no explaining. There is only the wedding or the bullet. Excuse me. And what if Signor Sola refuses? No, 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 no. Your uncles are honorable men. If Signor Solo refuses, they will blow his head off. Uh, yes or no? You want to get married or you want to get dead? Right now, I wanted my mother. Get right over here with your Marilyn book. Nina got herself a live one. I have to apologize for my uh, brother-in-law here, father of my sister's nine children. He does this all the time. We have to keep our eyes on him every minute. My sister put him on a spice-free diet, but it didn't seem to help. Nine children? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait for what, Napoleon? Huh? What? I am also a dentist. Well, consequently, I think I should come and see you at least twice a year. But how can I manage it? Won't people be watching? In his compartment. <laughs> <laughs>